Hello and welcome back to our RTS series. In this episode we're working on our buildings now. So we've got infantry moving around and selecting them. We now want to start working on buildings because we need to be able to generate other infantry units and other units in general. And we need buildings for that to happen. So we're going to get started with that by creating a new building class in some part which is a child of our unit base. It's still going to have the same functionality as unit base where we can click and select it. But we're going to change it around a little bit because it's got different types of mesh and different behavior slightly. So go to unit base in your folder here and we're going to right click and choose create child blueprint uh, class. And we're going to go unit building base. And we're going to open that up, make some basic changes here. Now the main thing is going to be changed here is the mesh. So obviously most units are using a skeletal mesh buildings aren't skeletons they don't need that so i'm going to go to the mesh here and i clear that i'm going to choose clear and then we're going to add a static mesh to this and we'll call this one uh building mesh in the building mesh here we can give it a default value here i'm going to just call it sm house o uh five and there's my default building mesh and be able to click on this and change it we're going to scroll over to the right hand side go down to its collision settings and we're going to go to where it says block all dynamic click on that change it to custom and in here we're going to make it interactable so click on block for interactable hit compile and then you want to go to a decal now the decal you need to make bigger because obviously it's too small click on it you're not going to actually see it so let's scale that up as well, like so, and that should now in theory, maybe a bit bigger, um, go around the edge of our building a bit better. Okay, so that's that part done. Just want to make sure the capsule component here as well, we're going to make it not use this. So at the moment, our infantry is using the capsule component for its interactivity. The problem with doing that with the building is we can't fit a capsule around this whole entire building. We won't be able to click on any part of this building for it to work. So click on your capsule component, go down to collision settings and check out its custom options. And where it says interactable, we want to tell it to overlap. So that way the mouse click will go through it and, and then onto whatever else underneath it. In this case, the building mesh. So with that set to overlap, you're going to go to uh, click compile and save. And then on the event graph for this, we're going to make a basic starting point for actor on clicked. So we'll go uh, actor on clicked. Now, actor on clicked already exists on the parent unit base. On here, you see actor on clicked. You can choose all these options here to select the unit and add it to a selection. The difference with a building though is we don't want to add it to a selection. We want it to wipe the selection that we currently have and make it the only thing that we get and can select at a time. So we're going to go to, back to our unit building base and then on the event here, right click and create add call dependent function. Now we're going to put this after we do our custom bit here. So in between the event and the parent, we're going to do our uh, get our uh, controller to clear that uh, event, uh, clear that selection. Sorry. So on unit base here, you can see we've got hold of the uh, con controller here with an, uh, a, a cast. So we're going to use that. We're going to copy that and put that into uh, base. In fact, we actually want this bit as well. So this first half, copy and put into our. Because again, we only want to do it when we left click on it. So we left click on this building, compare it to the left mouse button, through, get our RTS controller. Then from RTS controller, we're going to drag out and do clear. That will do clear unit selection. And then finally, you plug into your parent actor on click here. And you'll plug in the button press from our button press here. Drag that right across, plug that in. So do this bit of custom code here first, and then it'll carry on and do the rest of it. Compile and then save. 
Okay, now let's drag that into our world. Um, actually, first of all, let's make the child of that. So that's the building base. We need to make the individual buildings. Now, if I right click on this and create child blueprint, we're going to call this one uh, unit. I'm going to call it capital building. So this is going to be the main base building that each team will have. And you can click on that and set up your other barracks and other, other buildings you need to build from it. It's where you get your main build menu from. So I'm going to put in there just to give it a little bit of rotation, a little bit more dynamic. And let's push play. Okay, so in your game now, we go to our building. It is, click on it. Now I'll get this appearing like so. And there you have it. If I can click on here, it will set the building. Now if I click on these other actors here, we want to then click on the building. Move them actually closer. If I click on the building now, we should see the clear happen and they'll clear away from there. So what will happen next in the next episode is we'll make it so when we click on this, it'll open up a new uh, menu where we can then select our uh, building that we want to or manage our campsite um, based on the resources we have available to us. And that's when we'll start building uh, barracks, we're going to generate workers and army men to join our, our team and collect resources like wood from trees and uh, stone from rocks, etc. So join us in the next episode over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley right now. Uh, you can catch the episode for just $1 a month and all my other videos before anyone else on YouTube. Big thank you to all of my Patreon members and YouTube followers for their continued support. It really is amazing. So thank you so, so much. If you enjoyed this content and you haven't yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button this content all the time and it really does help me out having those extra subscriptions thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye everyone